2012 Senior External Exam in Physics, Paper 1, Part B, Question 2. Let's read and identify. A box rests on a plane which is at an angle of 15 degrees. We need to identify 15 degrees to the horizontal. If the friction between the box and the plane has a maximum value of 10 Newton, we need to identify the 10 Newton. What would be the maximum weight? Now here's the important part of the question after the maximum weight of the box before it slides down the plane. Use a diagram in your response. So we now need to draw our inclined plane. There's our inclined plane, right angle. We've got vertical, we've got horizontal. Here's our box on our particular plane. Now from this particular circumstance here, we now need to draw our forces. Now vertically we have the weight force acting downwards, I'll label that W, perpendicular to the plane we've got our reaction force going upwards, I'll make that a little right angle and we've got our frictional force between the block and the plane going up the plane and that's 10 Newton. Importantly we're told that the plane's at an angle of 15 degrees so let's mark in our angle of 15 degrees. Now it also happens that our weight force is at an angle of 15 degrees to the perpendicular to the plane. Now we've got our circumstance here where we can apply Newton's laws. So Newton's second law says when you sum the forces it equals the mass times the acceleration. Now just as it's about the slide, in other words it's the forces on it are balanced, its acceleration is zero. So we're looking at this particular circumstance here. Now the forces down the plane, because the block's going to slide down the plane, down the plane we have this component of our weight force parallel to the plane. If I dot that in there, the size of that is W sine 15. W sine 15 degrees. Now that's got to be equal to 10 Newton. That's the frictional force up the page. Now as the weight force increases, then it will start the slide. But as it's about the slide, these two forces are the same. So therefore, if we want to know what our weight force is, it's 10 divided by sine of 15 degrees. When we take through sine of 15 degrees, it's 0.25. So then when we go through and we do this calculation here, our weight force as it's about to slide is 38.6 Newton. Let's round it to two significant figures, two significant figures as we've got there in our information. So for our weight force to be 39 Newton.